A. So sorry if I'm looking a little bit blurry today. I've not done a video for a while because uh, farm life and phones don't mix quite often and mine's currently held together with sellotape. So, uh, so yeah, sorry about that. But, uh, but capitalism to get it fixed and that's kind of here what I'm talking about is, is the state of the economy and the state of the world because, oh my god, god, living has just become so expensive, has it not? It's not just me. I mean, I'm pretty sure now that going to the supermarket to do a shop is costing like at least double what it was a couple of years ago. It's absolutely crazy and I am not going to get started on uh, on the politics of the the latest, the latest Tory, Tory things. Um, cause well, you know, Telegram is for that, but, um, but it's, it's, um, it's crazy in the world right now, isn't it? What on earth is going on? I mean, I'm talking to civilization friends and the cost of electricity bills and the cost of living, it's, it's just insane. I just think that, I mean, when I went off grid, it was it was almost a bit of a joke that it was a prepping thing, to be honest. And um, it was like, oh, you know, there's like there's Pixie, she's off doing a prepping thing again, getting off grid, and I was like, you know, live off grid because when SHTF happens you won't notice. And um, you know, it's it's true, and I definitely am standing by those statements. But it's kind of worrying how that has gone from being a bit of a joke amongst my friends to me sitting here and saying saying, yeah, if you've got the opportunity or the ability or the inclination to, to get off the grid, then do it. I mean, they're talking about having rolling power blackouts coming. Um, if you're if you're attached to, to the grid at the moment, then you're totally reliant on a sinking ship, it kind of looks like. So I mean, I don't I don't really know what else to say. It's it's kind of gone to a crazy situation at the moment um but i mean what can you do about it uh, it's it's what i've been saying for a long time you know i've uh, living off grid for me hasn't like i've said it's not always been about prepping it's been something that i've always wanted to do and i've seen it enrich my life and enrich so many people's lives but off-grid prepping as a budget saving thing that's kind of becoming a new one to me. Like Dexter, um, he's he's amazingly foresighted on some things. He's uh, he's put in a lot of money into solar, um, and at the time, for it was crazy putting that much money into a solar setup. Now it would be the equivalent to about a six month civilization electricity bill cost. <laughs> it's it's like oh my good gosh. So you know, like a lifetime supply of of batteries you know mega 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 batteries um lifetime supply of batteries and like panels and then spare panels that's gonna cost what would now cost for a six month electricity bill in a civilization house and and i am just completely flabbergasted by that fact i mean it's it's just crazy there are obviously expenses if you are going to go and make the move to being off grid. Um, but I mean, it is kind of the ultimate stage of prepping, I guess. You're completely dependent on the grid if you're in civilization. If you're, if you're living in somewhere that you don't control your own supply chain, then you're always going to be at a bit of a loss, I think. Um, so yeah, I think right now is the time to, to start thinking about it if you're wanting to get off grid as a prepper. And like I said, you know, the, the new thing of it saves lots and lots and lots of money. I mean, it's always saved lots of money, but like lots and lots of money now, like, oh my good gosh, how much cheaper it has become to, to live off grid. And it's so sad to, to see so many people struggling to, you know, going to work every single day to make not enough money to pay their rent or their bills or feed their family to then have to take out credit cards and then have to get into debt just to meet their living costs. 
I think that that is is insane. And when you're relying on a supply chain that is so temperamental, especially at the moment, then I think that that is is just a risk. I mean, one thing you could do if you're in civilization is just get a small 12 volt system set up. Um, check out Bimble Solar. I mean, if you got a panel, a charge controller, and a leisure battery, and um, just stuck a panel in, you know, a bit of outside space. When you see all these houses with solar panels on the top, it makes me so sad because there's no energy independence there. It's all going to be paid back into the system. So get a little 12 volt system set up. And so we'll put a link to Bimble in, uh, in the comments, in the description, sorry, because just give them a call. See if you can talk to the lovely Laura. She's ace. Um, and just say, help, I need to get some solar because, you know, electricity is expensive and the sun is free. So um, yeah, there you go. Bimble has got another shout out because because uh, gotta love Bimble, but um, but yeah, it's it's really important I think to start thinking about what you're gonna do in the future. Are you going to want to be dependent on supermarkets and on energy supply chains, or that aren't controlled by yourself? That you know you're reliant on other people for the basics of living. It's, it's so nice here, you know, we've got a spring so we can get water, we've got veg growing, so we're kind of pretty energy independent. The only thing that we have is uh, is gas bottles that we buy in um, and do use for cooking in the summer mainly when we've not got the burners on. But, you know, next six, seven months when we're going to have the burner on and we'll be fine for that. But yeah time to time to get off grid guys time to get off grid if you're a prepper then i mean ask a, a like yeah literally just it boggles my brain but economic collapse i know it's something that people have been have been prepping for and you know we've seen it before 2008 it kind of it springs back again it will be okay in the long run i'm hoping no fingers crossed fingers crossed um just as long as they don't bring back fracking that would be disturbing very disturbing that's uh yeah sorry no that's uh that's another rant for another day but um yeah i'm going to leave you now but yeah get off grid if you've got the opportunity and if it's something that you've been thinking about then now is the time to make the move peace and love